is Teacher Espies here and welcome back to my channel. So ngayon ay pag-uusapan po natin kung paano po ba mag-compute ng salary per hour plus the overtime pay. So from my previous video, kung napanood po ninyo, uh, nag-video po ako doon, nag-record po ako or nagturo po ako how to compute salary during regular days, rest day or holiday. So kayo naman po, alam po natin na let us define what is a salary. So a, a salary uh, guys, ito po yung sweldo na binigay ng inyong employer dahil po sa binayad niyang serbisyo sa inyo. So, minsan, ang isang tao ay nagre-receive ng salary per month, semi-monthly, ibig sabihin, 15th and the 30th of the month, 5th and the 20th of the month. But it depends upon the company kung kailan po sila magpapasweldo. Basta semi-monthly, dalawang beses sa isang buwan. And then, meron, meron din pong isang beses sa isang linggo. So, at per week po yun. At meron din po na per hour ang bayad. At ang sweldo doon ay minsan kinukuha per day or kinukuha per week or kinukuha din po uh, per two weeks. So ngayon, kung interesado po kayo guys kung paano po natin ikakompute ang inyong salary per hour plus the overtime pay. Depende po na we will be following the labor code of the Philippines kung ano po itong, uh, kung ito po ay overtime pay during regular days, overtime pay during rest day. So, uh, if you are interested, stay tuned! Problem on the board. Mr. Perez is paid 120 pesos per hour. His regular days of work are 8 hours a day from Monday to Friday. So, ibig sabihin guys, kung 8 hours, uh, excluding uh, his lunch break. So, maybe 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., di po ba? And then half day, 4 hours on Saturday. So, 8 to 12. If last week he worked for 48 hours, find his gross pay for the week. Kapag sinabi po natin guys na gross pay, ibig sabihin total na po. Wala pa pong bawas yon. So, pag sinabi natin, isusulat po natin, I have here on the board, ang given po natin ay 120 pesos per hour. Yun po yung sweldo niya. And then, regular hours niya po ay 44 hours sa isang linggo. And then, ang overtime hours work niya ay 4 hours. So, ang inahanap po natin dyan, guys, is find his gross pay for the week. So, let us solve using his rate, 120 pesos per hour. So, the solution, guys. So, we have the regular pay, guys. Solution is, we are looking for the regular pay. The solution for this is hourly rate times number of regular hours worked. 
in our problem, ang kanyang per hour, ang bayad sa kanya ay 120 pesos. And times, 44 hours po siya nagtrabaho within one week, okay, from Monday to Friday, at kalahating araw sa Saturday. So kung tayo po ay may limang araw, Monday to Friday, and 8 hours, so magiging 40, plus 4, so naging 44 hours po. And then, if you will multiply this, guys, 120 pesos per hour times 44 hours, then it will give you with a total of 5,280 pesos. This is his regular pay within 44 hours, within one week, from Monday to Friday, 8 hours, and Saturday, 4 hours. Okay, how are you going to, to, multi, to uh, use the overtime pay? It's indicated in the labor code that if you will render the overtime pay during regular hours, the formula there is overtime rate times number of overtime hours worked. Okay, so we have here 125 percent times 120 pesos times four. So saan po nang galing ang 125 percent? It's indicated in the labor code that if you will render overtime during regular days, you will be using 125 percent. Iba naman po ang percent kapag ito po ay during your rest day, during the holiday. So, ang hinahanap po doon, ang hinahanap po doon kasi nagtrabaho po kasi siya guys doon sa buong linggo ng 48 hours. So, since ito po yung 44 hours na ito ay regular lang. At may sobra siya na apat na oras. That 4 hours na sobra, yun po yung kanyang overtime pay. So, since that is a regular day na nag-overtime po siya, nagtrabaho po siya overtime, then the formula is 125% times 120 pesos times 4. This 125 percent, you change that to decimal. When you are changing decimal, okay, so kapag nag-change kayo ng decimal to percent, move two places to the left. So magiging 1.25 times 120 pesos times 4. So, if you will multiply this, guys, 1.25 1 times 120 times 4, then it will give you with a total of 600 pesos. Ito po yung overtime pay niya. So, ano po yung hinahanap doon sa problem? Hinahanap po sa problem ang gross pay. So, ang formula ng gross pay, guys, is regular pay, which is 5,000 280 pesos plus the overtime pay which is 600 pesos then ilan po yung total ng kanyang gross pay so ang kanyang gross pay is 5880 pesos so when we're talking about gross pay, ito po yung wala pa pong bawas ito. Ito lang po yung sweldo niya within one week. So kung si ang uh, tao na ito na nagtatrabaho ay per week ang kanyang sweldo, then ang, ang makukuha niya is 5,880 without deduction. Yung tinatawag natin na gross pay, wala pa pong deduction. So, uh, is it clear guys? So, uh, I hope that you learned something today and have a great day everyone.